Hi, Satish. Great to have you in the studio with us today. Can you tell us what Alicia does? Great. Thanks for inviting us. So Alicia Analytics seamlessly and natively integrates Snowflake Data Cloud and provides a solution for SIM security analysis and observability platform. So we combine the Snowflake Data Lake with the open source tools like uh, Kibana and open, uh, Logstats and OpenSearch. We built a product to really solve the data problem in the security and get a single pane of glass with all the tools in one place. Great. Can we see a demo of it? Of course. So this is our Elisa Analytics application. I mean, there are three main use cases I mentioned. One is the log management, observability, and security. There are three main use cases like we solve for customers today. And if you see the left side, these are the menus like there's a discover, which is like the open search dashboard integrated with our product. It's basically, you can search any, I will show you the quick, like I'll just walk through the uh, menu items and then I'll show the demo. So this is the dashboards you can have, like Kibana dashboard, open search dashboards here. These are mainly used for the monitoring and we have two dashboard interfaces. I will tell you, this is a quick anomaly detection thing, how people can do like, you know, create an anomaly dashboard, whatever they want in few clicks. And this is the observability part and this is a security thing. And then we have integrations. So let me start from ground uh, end to end. See, for anything to work, you need to get the data first. You need to acquire the data, right? right? So we have a bunch of connectors out of the box here, and these are most of them are self-service connectors. So you can just show you like how to get AWS logs. So uh, I'm not going to show a complete thing, but I will just say like this is a connector wizard self-service. How you can get a cross account setup and now start setting up the feed. Once you have the feed, the data will be flowing to Snowflake. So once you have the integration, the data is flowing, then it basically you can have, you can create alerts. There are two kinds of alerts. One is like, you know, rule-based alert. Other one is behavioral-based alert. Let's say if my, if all of a sudden, my response time is going very slow as a lay, if it's going below 10%, you can get an alert from that. Or if you say something specific thing, like, you know, I want to see if somebody logging in out, outside of US area, I want to get an alert, you can have a rule-based alert. So, and then we have uh, dashboards. So this is the dashboard interface. These are all like, you know, uh, we OEM Looker as our BI tool. So pretty much whatever the Looker functionality, you get the power of Looker like inside LECM. So there are a bunch of dashboards out of the box we have. Like if you see, there is a compliance dashboard, there's the AWS dashboard, network activity. So I'll go through like one dashboard, which is in a security posture. So this is an important dashboard for every organization to see how the security posture looks in the company today, right? So this will collect all the alerts across all the sources. Because if you go in any organization, you may have Netscope, Palo Alto, Mimecast. So the good and bad with security is every company at least have like 20 to 40 tools in the security itself. That's the main problem. So the SOC people need to go through each tool. I need to log into Palo Alto to see what are the issues. I need to log into Mimecast and see what are the issues. There's no, these are all silos. Yeah. So with the Snowflake as a data like centralized, we collect all the logs and the alerts from different vendors into one place. On top of that, LSM basically apply the data model, which normalizes the logs, fields, everything like, you know, ac across, because there's a source IP in Palo Alto, there's a IP in like Netscope, right? So people should get confused and system needs to be correlated quickly. So with the data model, as the data lands into the system, they automatically get correlates. So that's the beauty of the data model. As you see, the security posture is a, one of the uh, critical thing in the IT organizations, it's the SOC teams, because it's like bread and butter. They want to get a complete visibility of the like IT environment. So what we do here, we collect the logs, alerts, and insights from all the third party tools like Palo Alto, Mimecast, Netscope, alerts. And also we have at Elysium, we look across the sources and find the alerting, like, you know, what happened if, when this one is happened and something else is happened, we have alert for that. And we have behavior alerts. So we have the cross sources alerts and we also look at the source alerts. We analyze all of them. And we apply the ML models on top of this one. We prioritize that and everything is served in from one dashboard. So now the beauty of this dashboard is a BI tool dashboard. So you can quickly filter out everything. Let's say, if you see here, John White is very high risky guy. So now we can see like, you know, what, what all John White is doing from the BI control like and everything. Now the dashboard suddenly like, you know, personalized to John White. What alert John White got in the sources, what entities like, you know, John White touched and what are the all the anomalies happen. So everything is like, you no know, respect to John White. So this is only the stuff. Now what happens as a, as a security analyst, 
they are always like the skeptical about using the tools. They want to see the raw data. So that's exactly what we have solved in Elysium is one of the North Star feature. So anybody can search anything in the data lake like you know with a couple of clicks. So now I want to see like you know about John White. What are all the sign-in activity happened? If you see this data, now you are getting this data like you know in real time like in the last 15 minutes all the login events. You can exactly see the complete log data. There is no filtration here. Whatever the Azure AD is emitting, you are seeing everything here, right? I don't see any tool today is giving this feature in, on Snowflake. So now I want to see, like you know, last 90 days, like you know, what activity this uh, happening in the Azure AD. I want to search for like John White. So that's the guy which we thought like you know having a lot of bad activity, and he like you know he was escalated in the top. So now earlier I got like everything the Azure AD signing logs. Now I want to just see like you know, John White. So now I can see only see now it's only 4,380 hits. Now I want to see like you know did John White like you know went to any bad sites right? Because we do the enrichment from marketplace sources a threat intelligence feed. So let's see if there is any if any of the events have like you no know, dark feed saying S. Yes. So now you will see like, you know, from, so it's only four hits. Cool. Right? Now if you see, I can, I can search like this billions of records to millions into thousands into hundreds into like, that's how I quickly navigate. And I'm impressed by the response time. Yes. Why? <laughs> right? Because Snowflake is giving the SOS feature and we are leveraging that and we are getting to the user. Love right? It. It, that, that's the integration part of BDF, both like in how we package it and getting to the users. So now all of a sudden, if you see the threat investigation guy, he has all the data at his tips, and the scale is coming from Snowflake platform. Either I do one user is doing, or 10 users are doing, Snowflake takes care of the scaling part, we take care of the insights part. So this is how you can quickly navigate and do the things. Now there's so much you can do, like you know, you can do the stuff, let's say, where this guy is going, like you know, so I can see the sign-in logs, the source type, because Azure AD gives a lot of like you know, noise also, like you know, interact, non-interact. I just want to get the sign, like, just click the plus, and it gets filtered out. So there's no SQL here. It's just a couple of clicks, because we are augmenting the SOC analyst like capabilities higher. We don't want them to like write this SQL, write this Python, right? So they do their job, we enable them with our technology. So, I mean, that's that's the power of this one. You can go this one, and there, it's again, these are quick indexes. I just show one source here. We also have, a, for example, a threat, threat hunt index, which basically like collates all the like, different sources and show the data. So I don't need any filters. So at the end of the day, whatever I'm showing these indexes, these are all the views in the Snowflake. The tables and views and all the data is getting populated here. Mm -hmm. So that's the one. Uh, I think as I mentioned, like these are the monitoring dashboards we're using from uh, Kibana dashboards. Uh, this is where, let's say, there are a lot of Elasticsearch users which are using Kibana and they move to Snowflake and it's a couple of clicks for us. So they just export the dashboards from Kibana, mm -hmm. they import in our, in our product and they just we, did, we can migrate the data from like you know, Elasticsearch to Snowflake. So now, as you know, Elasticsearch is a multiple nodes. Right, it's a very operational intensive. Yeah. We removed the operational intensive part with Snowflake platform, mm -hmm. and we carried out the same experience from Elasticsearch to the Elysium. Love it. Now, all of a sudden, you can see the user's productivity increase like 50 times, because they only look at the insights, and they don't worry about managing the data, managing the data platform, they're all taken care. So again, and given that open source tools we are leveraging, as they're iterating, as they're adding features, we are incorporating. Right, that's the beauty of the extensibility and agility things. So this is the new, I mean, other thing like you know, I know Snowflake just started observability, and we also leverage some open source tools. So this is just a one quick dashboard interface how we leverage looking at the logs and see getting the complete visibility here. And and as I mentioned, this is the Grafana dashboards integrated into our product. And I'll just quickly show one application. There's a sample application how people get the observability of that one. Mm -hmm. So because today if you see like all the SaaS applications are microservices, yeah. right? So Tracing is a big challenge. Exactly, because now any activity you're doing, it's going to like 10 or 50 microservices. <laughs> yeah. 
So we don't know which microservice is a problem. Right. So one thing is down or going to get down, it's after the fact you'll get to know, it takes 10 hours to figure out the thing, <laughs> yes. and your application is down. You lose the business. Right. So once you lose, you know more in the, st in the race, <laughs> right? Yeah. So this is what, again, we collect all this data in the Snowflake. So I'll just show you a sample thing. So if you see, this is a sample example, right? It has four microservices. It can have 100 microservices. Mm -hmm. You see this here showing 5.02% there's, there's an error rate, right? So I know where the errors are. So by clicking here, I can see like this is an error, this is something going on the Redis error, right? Now I click this one. So, so the graphic here is actually showing how this microservice are interconnected exactly. visually. Yes. Love it. So now I can see the services and I can go to traces. So I can click like this is one of the trace ID, right? So which has error rate. So it has error rate. Now it's these are the different things. There's a route, Redis, front end, MySQL. So I go down, I can see there's a Redis error, right? I look at the stuff. So if you see what is showing is like, you no, know, there is a timeout error from Redis. How long it took for me to nail down the problem? You just reduce a 10 hour <laughs> exactly. working Fraction to five second. minutes. Yeah, so now this is like democratized to all the SRE people. It is not like access to one person. The data is democratized, log data is democratized with the power of Data Lake platform and with the Elysium UI. Thanks for the demo, Satish. It's very powerful to see everything in sure. action. So for people who want to learn more about Elysium, where should they go? Yeah, so thanks for inviting us. And uh, I think they should go to our website, elysiumanalytics.ai. We have all the information there. Super cool. And thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate your time, your insight, and your expertise. Sure, thanks for having me here today. Thanks for tuning in. To watch the full conversation, be sure to check the link in the description of this video. To learn more about companies that are building on top of Snowflake, go to developers.snowflake.com and be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.